While post-secondary classrooms are becoming more diverse in a number of ways, international and English language learning students represent a growing subpopulation. While Universal Design for Learning, or UDL, strategies can reduce barriers and increase access to success for all learners in your classroom, there are specific strategies you can use for those students who may have to surmount cultural and language barriers in particular. While UDL principles can be implemented in no-tech, low-tech, and high-tech ways, UDL adopters often use free and low-cost technology tools due to their powerful learning possibilities for these student groups. There are three core principles of UDL providing multiple means of engagement, representation, and action and expression for students in your classroom. If we focus on these principles through the lens of culturally diverse learners, we can see a number of applications across disciplines. If you're considering how to provide multiple means of engagement for international students or English language learners, Think about whether any of these strategies might help facilitate student development. Encourage opportunities for learners to use their own culture and experiences in the classroom and use this cultural diversity to compare and contrast other cultures. Broaden the examples you provide to highlight applicability in a range of cultures and countries. Provide learners with opportunities to share their cultural norms or experiences but don't single them out or ask them to represent a particular group. Offer a range of activities, such as individual, paired, or group activities for both in-class and out-of-class learning tasks. Develop a buddy system for all learners in the class. Identifying a go-to peer may help students feel less intimidated asking questions, discussing issues, or inquiring about expectations or norms. If you're considering how to provide multiple means of representation for international students or English language learners, these suggestions may help them to develop deeper disciplinary knowledge. Record class sessions or lectures for students to review as they need. Provide reading support by offering texts on key course concepts at beginning, intermediate, and advanced levels, permitting students to use translation materials or text-to-speech as appropriate within your course content, and offering definitions for vocabulary, key definitions, simplified terms, and examples. Use visuals, such as videos and icons, when describing key concepts rather than relying on words alone. Flowcharts, outlines, and diagrams also help students build cognitive connections between concepts. Be aware of cultural barriers to accessing course content by managing culturally situated metaphors, sarcasm, or in referencing assumed knowledge. In addition, Offer learners resources that may help illuminate culturally different knowledge, such as OU Libraries Using and Citing Sources tutorial on plagiarism. Provide study resources for learners, such as study guides or old course documents, such as assessments, rubrics, and syllabi, which can be made available electronically or on course reserve at OU Libraries. Share study techniques and strategies that emphasize critical thinking skills over rote memorization. And finally, if you're seeking to offer multiple means of action and expression so that international students and English language learners can more fully express their knowledge, skills, and attainment of course outcomes, determine if any of these strategies might work in your classroom. Offer learners variable time to submit work and complete exams. Build in opportunities for feedback and revision. Limit the points assigned to grammar and spelling unless a course's learning outcomes include attaining mastery in these areas, and provide learners with a range of assessment types, not just writing-based tasks. Now, of course, not all of these strategies will work in every course or subject area. It's important that you find the UDL strategies you're comfortable with and that align with your course goals for learners, while also identifying those that might be incompatible with your course. 
If you're interested in additional strategies on approaching your teaching from a UDL perspective, visit oakland.edu slash CETL or check out the strategies shared by CAST or the National Center on UDL.